Erika speaks for the first time after her disqualification. My name is Erika Lewedim and I've just been disqualified from the Big Brother Lockdown House. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. After Erika's disqualification on Sunday from the Big Brother Niger reality show, she has come out in a very first interview to apologize to her fans and everybody who supported her during her stay in the Big Big Brother house and of course has stated categorically that she's better and she feels fine being outside of the house. It's the day after disqualification. I feel relieved. I'm happy to be outside. I'm happy to see my loved ones and my supporters. I really needed that so I'm very happy to be outside the house. She went ahead to apologize to Lecon Prince and Dorothy stating clearly that she doesn't hate Lecon in any way as whenever she gets angry she tends to say things that are hurtful. And I'm very, very sorry for saying those horrible words to Lekon. Lekon, I do not hate you. She went ahead to say that in a way Kid Wire was responsible for her two strikes and of course in the way she was also responsible for Kid Wire's two strikes but in the long run she take responsibility for her actions. I think Kid Wire played a role in my getting strikes. First off, this is what I think. I think in this kind of game, you're responsible for your actions, you're responsible for your strikes. Nobody and nobody is responsible for your strikes because in the real sense, you've read the rule books, you know what the rule says, and of course, you're meant to abide by the rules of the house. She then went on talking about the relationship she has with Kid Y, saying that she doesn't feel that Kid Y feels the same way like she does, and I think she really got this one correctly. I do not think Kid Y feels the same way about me, but I don't really care about that. Then she said her relationship with Lekon went sour when Lekon started telling some housemate that she tried kissing him a couple of times and that was a lie. I think she's lying because in the real sense we've seen at least two videos where she tried kissing Lekon and of course two is a couple of times. She then finally went on to say that she thinks that her rift with Lekon can be fixed. I think the rift between me and Lekon can be fixed. Well I think Lekon will be open to making amends with her but at the long run I'm going to advise Lekon to still give her some space because you know what? A drunk man's words are a sober man's reflection. Finally she was asked that what were the things she was going to go into right now that her stay in the Big Brother house is over and of course she said she was going to go back into acting and then she mentioned a particular place saying she wants to become brand ambassador for brand. I would love to be a brand ambassador for numerous brands. Of course I'm hoping that brands will be able to look into her as brand ambassador and overlook all her actions in the Big Brother house and of course I think she needs a very strong PR to be able to pull all of that up while if Tacha could get brands during her time I think with Erika it could be possible finally on my gist also has accused Nengi of playing too much with male housemates including Kidwire uh, or what's his name or Tochi or Eric or even Kid more than myself because like when we're around yeah, you stay at them a whole lot more <laughs> you play with, yeah you play with them like, <laughs> no I'm saying no but that's true like, wow. No, I mean, I'm saying because, like, like me being, because, like, obviously, I'm, bl I'm not blind at the end of the day. In the conversation that we're having in the garden, we could hear also telling Nengi that she started playing too much with male housemates, mentioning evicted housemate Tochi and Eric, and now mentioning Kidwire. And Nengi was like telling him that, you know what, you just added Tochi and Eric to this list. All you wanted to say was Kidwire. So, like, it's obvious. Like, really, really obvious. And stuff. So for me, I'm not looking at you like, okay. I know yeah. you just talked. You just added Tochi and Eric because you just wanted. No, I wanted to like. Because from, you don't want no, to. No, no, from, from the whole, no, from the whole time I met you, like from the very first time I started talking to you. Wow. I'm I'm Mrs. Feelings now. All around the place, catching feelings. I'm not so stuff for. Now I'm going to show you a particular video of when Nengi and Kid Wire were playing and you could see Ozo's reaction to their play. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kid, I want to take the one you took from my plate. Just allow me. Just allow me. Let us have peace of mind. 
I don't mean to take the right Well, I'm hoping at the end of the day that also will not have an issue with Kid Wire over Nengi because as it stands right now, Nengi doesn't really have to walk on eggshells anymore since Erika is out of the house as her friendship with Kid Wire can sail smoothly. Please go to the comment section as we continue our conversations there. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells and guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I'll come away very soon. It's bye for now.